lot of people noticed that uh, Xbox Gold um, is now gone. You can't purchase it uh, mm -hmm. from the Microsoft Store. And that happened right after the showcase where they pushed games with gold. And they made it... it, it Xbox Game Pass has almost become a buzzword for Microsoft. Yep. They're, they've been pushing it. It's on all of their promotional, and they want to make sure that you get these new games day and date. My big thing is that this could be Microsoft's big chance to make an impact with the gaming audience and overtake PlayStation. I think that the console war is kind of done. I think PlayStation won the console war, but now is the time for Microsoft to win the battle of attrition, to set themselves up as a format to really dominate. Because Epic obviously gives some free games every now and then, but no one does what Xbox Game Pass does for PC. It's just unprecedented. For five bucks a month, it gets unheard of. Unfortunately, I don't think that Xbox, and this is kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier, I don't think Xbox is going to push for exclusives. I think that trying to spend money on exclusives is only going to hurt them in the long term when they can focus on dominating the PC market and using Xbox as their kind of at-home entertainment system. Yeah. Um, PlayStation, I mean, like you said, PlayStation, they put out any game and it sells millions. Ghost of Tsushima has been absolutely dominating all of my time. Yeah, all, yeah, all of the exclusive that PlayStation puts out is amazing. When people talk about Xbox, there's Halo, and, you know, and we're getting Halo back for sure, but I don't think that Game Pass is meant to kind of push Xbox forward. I think it's more of a foundation for Microsoft for the future. Um, and there have been a lot of articles uh, talking about why it financially makes sense. Um, but another big thing is that is multiplayer going to be free? I mean, that that alone would put Microsoft at a head start. That that would be huge. Free. That yeah, that's free? insane. Yeah. yeah, free to play. Mm -hmm. Free to play. I think I absolutely agree with you. I think Xbox Game Pass is the best deal. Um, actually, I think Caboose might have actually said this before too. <laughs> the best deal deal that gamers could have that are looking to play multiple games. Um, and we've seen, I think they recently rebranded how Xbox Game Pass looks. So they're kind of dropping mm -hmm. the Xbox off of it. They have the Xbox logo, but it's just kind of called Game Pass, and they oh, teased it with like trying out a new look, right? right? Yeah. So I think all their Twitter handles are still Xbox Game Pass, but the look of it doesn't have Xbox in the, it, like their icon doesn't have Xbox in the icon anymore. It's just Game Pass with the logo. So, right. I, you know, we're seeing this because Xbox uh, Game Pass Ultimate was a huge success, and I feel like it's been maybe just two years since they've introduced Game Pass on PC. Am I correct with that? Is it just two three yeah, years because last year i'll tell you what i've stayed away from game pass for so long because the microsoft store and the xbox store is garbage on pc <laughs> it, is, it is a disaster as far as ui steam goes steam is pretty bad yeah steam is getting bad too yeah. but <laughs> it's the fact of i mean right now i have the master chief download collection the uh, master chief collection downloaded i've got astroneer hellblade senua super hot sea of thieves it's all of these games for such a low price that the how it operates doesn't matter. People aren't going to be too worried about, you know, a clunky UI. They're just happy to have all of these games for cheap. And I think that's one thing that Microsoft is really focusing on. They're not trying to make it this super refined experience with all of these AAA titles. They're saying, here's all the Xbox games that you love. Here's all the new games that are coming out. Guess what? Five bucks a month, you get all of it. You know, rather than paying 10, 15 bucks a month for PlayStation Plus, you get maybe one or two games and then that's what you need to play online. It, it's kind of blowing PlayStation out of the market right now. Well, and that's the thing, too, right? With um, Game Pass, including Xbox Gold, um, I mean, mm -hmm. Xbox Live, and um, now only being, I think it's fifteen ninety nine American and sixteen ninety nine Canadian. For the Ultimate, it, yeah. For the Ultimate, it's just... It's such a good deal, and it makes sense. I'm more curious, though, in terms of how what we're seeing Xbox do with Game Pass, if that will catch on with 
other um, companies? Like, will that catch on with Stadia? Will that catch on like the deals that they're offering? But more specifically with PlayStation, will we need another um, membership in order to play online? And are they going to do more with PlayStation Now? Because PlayStation Now is their, you know, their streaming service. I think that's the most comparable thing to um, Xbox Game Pass. So it'll be interesting to see if that develops. What do you guys think? Uh, I think that Xbox Live Gold and what it convinced PlayStation and Nintendo to do with their online subscription services is the greatest con in American history. <laughs> like there is. So what specifically are you talking about that they did? Well, PlayStation's biggest sell for PlayStation's yeah. biggest sell from the PlayStation Three era of the console generation was our online is free. There's mm-hmm. that's it. End of story. The end. And then Xbox 360 had Xbox Live Gold. And of course, the 360 essentially had won that era of, of the console generation, right? And so Sony was like, all right, screw it. We'll do PlayStation Plus 2. You got to pay for online. That's, that's what you get. That's what yeah. you get. All right? So that's that's essentially what happened. And I think what a huge move. If, if, if rumor is to be believed and Xbox Live is gone and all that will be when the dust settles is just Game Pass and essentially free multiplayer for games the way that we're going to get something like with halo which is confirmed now like halo is going to have a free-to-play multiplayer that's it end of story the end which is amazing first of all because of what that could mean for how big the story is going to be and second of all for what that means as just such a such a pro consumer move and i feel like that's the direction that xbox is going in not buy our console because we have these games no yeah right play our games the end doesn't matter where you play them. If you're on PC, if you're on Xbox, they got they got Mojang, they got my um Minecraft. That's still yeah. on PlayStation as an Xbox Studios game. When you boot it up on PlayStation, it literally says Xbox Studios. You think PlayStation would ever do that? You think PlayStation, if they bought Minecraft, would ever dare? And and not to discredit PlayStation, yeah. I that's, that's still good business practice on their end. Obviously, they want people to buy their consoles, and obviously, I think. As a business person, that's that's kind of the point is to to make money. Uh, to harsh realities of it all, but I love that Xbox just wants to be pro consumer. They want you to buy their games wherever you're going to get them. But they okay, just want to and I think that this step, I hope it changes um, how Nintendo looks at oh, their online subscription. They really need to change that, <laughs> um, and how PlayStation looks at online subscriptions. But like you said. PlayStation didn't charge at first. Xbox kind of started charging. And yeah. all of this really comes, like the rumors with Xbox uh, Live going away, this kind of stems from people complaining as well. With free-to-play games, you needed a live subscription to play free-to-play games on Xbox, right. which is ridiculous. Right. Whereas, like, PlayStation, you didn't need that, right? So it's, can they just talk and just get it right? <laughs> So we're not thrown in this tug of war (laughs) of like knowing if we need to buy a subscription because it's mom and dad stop playing (laughs) playing because it could be a lot, you know, that could be the decision factor for a lot of people, whether they could afford an Xbox or afford a PlayStation with games like Call of Duty, Warzone, and, um, you know, like Fortnite. Oh, I'm just naming a whole bunch of free to play games, but, um, (laughs) For for those types of games, Rocket League, right? Like it can make a, it can make or break someone's decision to uh, buy either console. So when they when I when you say like they're not playing that uh, whole exclusive game, you're absolutely right. But it's still they're they're it's kind of unethical when you think right. about it because they're yeah. trying to like hold a thread over people saying like, oh, come over here because we got Game Pass and you know we're, we're <laughs> we've got free online. Way. I mean, they they they're gonna have games available for people to play and put it no, in their I, hands. I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think necessarily Xbox is being unethical. I just think this whole tug of war between yeah. like whether it's gonna happen or not, or it's gonna happen for this gen um, for Xbox, but then next gen we may have to, or like for next gen we're gonna have to have it for free. But then the gen after right. that, it's gonna be paid for. Like just Dump make up it. your mind. Yeah, because. <laughs> does set gaming back like if we just had it free for both consoles for you know xbox one and playstation 4 think of crossplay being more accessible to games yeah, think of that aspect, right like i feel like we would have 
gone further in the development of crossplay. Like even some indie developers might have been able to really look at that as something they could take time to put into their games because they know they're not going to be losing out on the audience factor, sure. right? For so sure. I, I feel like we just like just make a decision, stick to your decision, and then keep going. You know, I, like I agree. Uh, I agree. I want I want everyone to play nice and for yeah. for at the end of the day. I would love to see a situation where they're like, yeah, okay, you get you get one month exclusive Spider-Man on Marvel's Avengers, and then we'll let it, we'll leave it up for everyone. I would love to see a situation like that. But again, I guess at the end of the day, business is business. PlayStation's, they're playing to win. They're not playing to be fair. Whereas Xbox, I think, is at the point where <laughs> like I don't I don't want again, I don't want to knock either side. I mm -hmm. I am very much the guy who tries to play Sweden or, or Switzerland. Which one is what's the term? Is it Sweden? Switzerland? Sweden. Switzerland. Sweden. 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 Switzerland. 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 You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I try to I try to play in the middle. I try not to take sides. I like I just I like all games. Ghost of Tsushima is my game of the year. I'll also say at the same time the Game Pass is the single greatest gaming deal in history. So like yeah. I'm I'm about it. I'm about it all. I'm about it all. But at the end of the day uh xbox lost really bad like yeah. really really bad this console generation they got destroyed so i think that because of how bad they lost because of how far behind they are they must have gotten to the point where they were like why are we even going to try and fight back and win let's right. just at this point make as much money as possible and i yeah. yeah. get game in as many hands as possible so yeah. open it up to PC, make free to play games that are obviously going to have microtransaction cosmetics because how the hell else are they going to get funded? You know, yeah. like that's we're, we're going to see stuff like that. And, and you know what? I mean, microtransaction, that's a whole different conversation in general. But uh, overall, what Xbox is doing, I agree with it. I like what they're doing. Um, and I'm looking forward to the future of games. I would, again, appreciate if everyone just played nice, but that's in a perfect world and we live in an imperfect one. Live in one where there's Camille's and cabooses. Yep. Very yeah. true. Yeah. Wait, disagree. Oh, <laughs> where there's people who think that <laughs> Ellie shouldn't be the last of his show oh for whatever reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God, let it like go. Like uh, logical, level-headed let... people. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to get you back one day. Um, okay. but to end off, okay, they rebranded yeah. kind of the look of Game Pass. Realistically, yeah. Alex, uh, Malik, do we see this going to other platforms outside of PC? Do you no. think there could be Ooh. an Xbox uh, Game Pass partnership with Stadia? Do you think, because I believe that actually Phil Spencer mentioned this previously, um, I think it might have been last year or the year before, that like they've tried, you know, having a conversation with PlayStation about Game Pass game pass right so is that something like i feel like the wheels are turning on the xbox end that they can see the potential for game pass to be just a separate thing and it's just a service that everyone knows is game pass without the xbox association um and i think that may be more profitable for them uh what do you guys think maybe mobile I, magic oh mobile, that'd be Ooh. really cool actually coming to switch because yeah oh, i think switch is already like on the way to there yeah. yeah, I don't think PlayStation will mostly because I don't think PlayStation's gonna play ball. They're like you said, they're too far ahead. But mm -hmm. I think PlayStation has kind of cemented themselves as this is kind of messed up. But I look at Xbox as Netflix and PlayStation is going to the movies. When I want to sit down and experience something AAA oh, okay. and, and big and epic, I go to my PlayStation. When I just want to play Forza with friends or I'm just messing around or I want to find something quick, I'll go to Xbox Game Pass. I think all it takes is I think PlayStation could survive with their online service still. But I think all it takes is PlayStation in next year taking all of the PS4 AAA exclusives exclusives yeah. putting them in one pass for $15 a month and then Xbox is buried again. I think yeah. that I think PlayStation's back catalog is so strong they wouldn't have to reach out to any other developers. <laughs> they like they put all of their old even all of the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 classics you put all that in a 15 even $20 a month I'm it's buying over. it. It's, it's over. over. So I think that I think that as great as Xbox Game Pass is I think they're worried still. 
I think so that they're trying to winner. make moves. Yeah, I think that this is a good first step for them, but I think they know that PlayStation can sweep their feet out from underneath them at any time. But do you think PlayStation allows that stuff to be available on PC the way that Xbox Game Pass does? No. No, no. I don't see that being the case at all. No, no, so I definitely feel like that's not. still that's still the one, one small baby leg up. Right, that Xbox would have maybe the hail mary for them. But what? I agree with you. I could I could see PlayStation being like, all right, screw it. You want to talk it. about Game Pass all day? <laughs> PlayStation Now updated. PlayStation Classic it, title. <laughs> but what it does do, like, I don't think PlayStation needs to actually tap into that PC. That's they that's. Don't. They don't. That's not their focus. That's not their audience. We know, like, um, they're very strong in what they want to do, and they're strong with sticking with console gaming, mm-hmm. um, and not really expanding beyond that right now. And I, I think their rap sheet of work that they put out would support that. So I, I don't think they need to do that because I think they're more focused on just getting people to buy more Xbox, uh, more Playstations over Xboxes. So. Mm-hmm. Even if they put that, you know, fifteen dollars for their back catalog of all this stuff that's the all their exclusives, right? The exclusive back catalog, that that would be enough for people to be like, Oh, I you know, all these years I've played on Xbox, I've never experienced these PlayStation exclusives. And now with the new hardware coming out, and if I'm getting that as well, that that may be a great selling point. Um, Yukio says in chat. I think Sony and Microsoft are working together on cloud gaming, uh, so they might have some form of a partnership. Oh, Actually, that right. is that is what I oh. I mix it up with Game Pass, but you're right. That's what I was mentioning. Phil Spencer was mentioning X Cloud with yeah. um, Cloud, being yeah. accessible for or like using some of their software for the right. PlayStation PS Now, and mm. I think that's a possibility. The partnership. But I don't necessarily see uh, Game Pass coming to PlayStation as well. I, I agree with you guys. I don't think yeah. it's something that we'll see. I think maybe in PS Now we'll see that develop further um, to something that their X Cloud is, and like maybe have Game Pass elements to it. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily see Game Pass being on the PlayStation. That'd be really weird. Yeah. That'd be a change I, of time. I'd, be, I'd see Xbox pitching it, but PlayStation yeah. be like yes. what? Well. All it takes is PlayStation going and finding about half of the games that Xbox has on Game Pass, acquiring them for PS Now, and then putting all of Naughty Dog's collection and Sucker Punch's collection of games in their catalog. But it would be nice if they did play nice. (laughs) It, It would be great for the gaming community if there was some sort of service that allowed you to enjoy both games. Because I... Yeah. I connect my PlayStation and I will play games on my PC, you know, just for pure comfort. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I don't think that PlayStation needs to make that step. They've never really played nice with PC, and they also are a bit of a leg up in the graphics department from Xbox, right. in my personal opinion. So I don't see a reason for them yet. Maybe when uh, Sony starts putting out their own PCs, then we'll see that, right? Like, I feel like they want to put out the hardware first, and then they'll develop the services around it. So maybe, yeah. what was it, the Vio? Remember the laptops, the Vios? Oh, the Sony Vios? I used to what have those. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have one. Oh, I, ha- I had one too. Um, it was like broke, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, same yeah. with <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll want to develop the hardware first, but all we know will, it like everything, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think we all agree, Xbox, Game Pass, best deal ever, right? Xbox yep. Game Pass on the Nintendo Switch would be cool. Xbox Game Pass on mobile, interesting. So it's a good service and it has a lot of potential. Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone, uh, that is it for today. It's been awesome actually talking to the three of you about these. Th- today was, uh, we were packed with a lot of great <laughs> Like yeah. it just yeah. kept going, got heated. Even you know, Caboose, it was great talking to you about The Last of Us on TV. Yeah, and like why Joel and Ellie should be the central characters of the show and all that. Yeah, like all that. Yeah, it was great. No, it's good talk. So next week I won't be here because Caboose. <laughs> <laughs> Neither will Caboose <laughs> because of some <laughs> mysterious disappearance. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just mysteriously disappear. Well, there'll be someone new here. Uh, but. <laughs> 
but everyone in chat, we appreciate also your input as well. You know, we do this because we like to have the discussions with you. So thank you for doing that. You could continue all the discussions on our socials at Squad State or check out the website, squadstate.com. Uh, Malik, thank you so much for being a guest today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. It's been awesome. You've had great insight. Caboose, Alex, you guys are awesome um, as well as always, yeah. even though you <laughs> Caboose may have some weird thoughts on how TV shows should work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but where can everyone find you? Yeah, you can find me uh, at Caboose EK on Twitter and Instagram, youtube.com forward slash Caboose, twitch.tv slash Caboose, and right here on Squad. And Alex? My Twitch is just Rat Puppy. And then all my other socials is Feels Rad Man. Hey. And that's Feels me. Feels Rad Man. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> also, your guest today, where can everyone find you if they want to keep the conversation going with you? You can find me on Twitter. It's just at Malik Shelp. Um, and yeah. And I have articles up on Squad State as well. Um, just did the interview. So yeah, look for my work there. Yeah, there's there's some really great articles on the website. If you have not checked it out, please check it out. As well as this Twitch channel, because all week we will be streaming. I'll be uh, streaming some Paper Mario tomorrow, Tuesday, nice. and Wednesday between... What time do I do that? Oh, 12 to 4. I'm like, what time? Uh, we have Brody uh, Leapex from 1 to 5 on Thursday and Friday. And Alex, you are... You Saturday, play- Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Um, what time? I started at time, 11. Our time, not, not your time. Uh, I can't do math right now. <laughs> Let's do 11 plus 3. Four, uh, 14. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. At some point. Uh, at some point. Two, two, two to okay. six, right? Two to, two to six. Yes, two I to six. It, I believe you're right. It's two to six. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because you're like, oh, crap, this version. And all those times are Eastern, uh, if you guys were wondering. So make sure to tune in. It's been great. Someone says in chat, Matt, uh, Mega Man says, the raddest pup. She's pretty <laughs> rad. She's pretty cool. Um, so make sure you stu- stay tuned all week. We will see you guys next week. Let us know what we should talk about. If you have any suggestions, again, hit us up on our socials. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you next time. <laughs>